Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today, I have an extremely highly requested tutorial, and I'm really excited to show you guys it finally. Um, check this out, guys. If you didn't see the intro, if you're blind or something, uh, it's basically Luma Mast or Luma Mat flares. So if you don't know what that is, here's a quick definition. And if you miss that quick definition, <laughs> then uh, basically Luma Matte or Luma Masking is doing a black and white layer and having the flares detect what's white and what's black and having it overlay a flare depending on the luminance of that light. So it saves a lot of time. It's way more realistic than normal lens flares. And uh, if you can't tell, look at this footage. There's no way I could have just gone out and filmed this, right? But uh, as you know, Brandon isn't really around to help me anymore so uh, what I did was I searched the internet for some cool stock footage and I came across this awesome website guys I can't even believe the kind of content these guys have so they have stuff starting at five dollars alright and it's not judged by the length of clip or even the quality of the clip it's judged by how tough the shot was to obtain you know so uh, they can have some 1080p footage or higher for five dollars it's insane so uh, I'd say go check us out. They even have a section where they have free downloads. Look at this. Three videos every month. They release three free videos. So seriously, go check them out. I'll show you guys also this one. I downloaded this one. I'm going to use it in today's tutorial as well. So yeah, go check them out. I'll put a link in the description because these guys are freaking awesome. As always, guys, don't forget to leave a comment because I'm going to leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. Also, give the video a like because it helps us out. Well, helps me out a lot and I will love you forever and uh, I got some great feedback on the last tutorial saying uh, you know what you guys thought of the new quality of uh, you know the music just all around everything and uh, it was great feedback so thank you guys so much I'll be including these project files that I'm doing uh, at chitchacheckit.com so go there and download them right now or I'll be so mad I swear I'm not really gonna be mad but yeah with all that done, let's get to the tutorial. So this is actually going to be an advanced tutorial, so I'm going to do this pretty fast because you guys really wanted advanced tutorial. So here we go. Just pay attention to those keystrokes and buckle down and let's do this. <laughs> all right, let's start off by going File, New, New Project. Double click up in here. Let's find that footage that I downloaded right there. Okay, there we go. 1080p, so beautiful. I'm going to bring it down to half. All right, let's start off by just uh, renaming this top thing to, uh, let's do main comp. I'm just renaming the composition, so you'll see why. Now we're going to duplicate it by hitting control D, of course. We're going to rename this Luma Matte. All right, now let's go into this by double clicking on it, going over to effects and presets. Let's just type in colorama, boom drag and drop it over onto this layer and what we want to do is we want to find the area where the lights happen right there cool alright and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down the output cycle and we're going to uh, go to these user preset palettes and we're gonna go down to ramp gray I'm gonna click over here in this area and I'm gonna bring up a black option I'm gonna click on the inside right next to it and I'm gonna bring up the white option and that's just making a highly contrasted image. There's lots of ways you can do this over here, but uh, this seems to be the easiest way and the most popular, of course, for Luma masking. So right away, you'll see that it's already looking pretty awesome, but here's the problem with doing it this fast, okay? So already, you could go back to your main comp. Let's go to our project window, and what we can do is we can drag the Luma mat down underneath the time lapse right here. We could turn it off because we do not need it on. We'll click on the time lapse, go over to the effects and presets. Let's just uh, type in flare. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type in, or really, I'm going to use the shortcut control Y. That just uh, makes a new solid. And I'm going to name it flares. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag optical flares onto the flares layer. I'm going to hit F4. I'm going to bring it, well, hit it again. The blending modes is what I want. I'm going to do add just so it brings it up. I'm going to drag this over to here just to make sure that we can see some of this. All right, so to get the Luma masks 
up and running is we want to change the source type from 2D to luminance. Then you need to go to the under the luminance options, you'll see the source layer. I'm going to drop that down to luma matte. That luma matte that we made and you'll see that we're done now. So, thanks so much for watching guys. Um I'll catch you guys on the <laughs> I'm just kidding. You silly people, that's white. Why would I leave the tutorial like that? You crazy person. All right. So let's bring the brightness down to 1 so we can actually see what it's doing right now. And uh, also, let's go up to the options. Just click something that we can actually see what's going on here. So Pro Presets 2. I'm just going to grab an anamorphic. Let's do it. Well, actually landing. Oh, that will look pretty cool. Okay, so you'll see that we just have a ton of flares going on from these windows. And when you run into a shot like this, it, it won't always be that easy, guys. You know, like, watch. If we bring this up to five, you'll, you'll really see what's going on here. Look how many flares we're getting. I mean, maybe that's what you guys want to kind of make the image look more busy. But a lot of you guys are probably thinking this looks stupid. So let's fix that up. Let's go back to our Luma map by double-clicking on it. Let's uh, zoom in. And here's what I like to do, okay? So there's a main shot right here if we turn this off. There's two main flares that I'd really want. I want the light right here and I want the light up here. So what we can do is we can click on the epic time lapse. Let's hit control D to duplicate it. Let's name the top one. Let's just name it uh, main mat. Okay, so then this bottom one we're just going to use for referencing. So we can delete the color rama and then uh, delete. There we go. Okay, so main mat we'll select it. And, uh, of course, we do want the Colorama on, but we don't want to turn it on just yet. We want to go up to the uh, Rectangular tool. Yours will probably be on, but we actually want to bring it down to the Ellipse tool. And then what we want to do is we want to zoom out quick, make sure that the main mat is selected, and we want to just drag a nice mask on top of that first light, okay? So let's zoom in. And uh, what we want to do is we want to animate this mask. Let's go to where it actually starts coming in, which is right around there. Okay, right there will be fine. Now let's hit M to bring up the mask path options. I'm going to hit a keyframe. And I'm just going to bring up the move tool and I'm going to double click on this mask, this mask right here. I'm going to drag it on top of it. And then I'm just going to go forward and I'm just going to do a quick animation. Double click on it. I'm just doing a very, very quick, I mean, it does not need to be perfect because it is being edited, or it's being uh, Luma Masks, if you don't uh, remember, we have that color Rama applied to this thing, which is really just killing all these other lights, so drag all the way to the end, double click on it, boom, just a really quick roto, and now we'll do it to the other one as well, let's go up to our ellipse tool again, and then let's uh, go to where it first appears, which would be around... Wow, that really doesn't come in till late, huh? Right? There, right there, cool. I'm gonna just drag what I think it'll be like right about there, bring back up the move tool, zoom in, double click on it, move it over, cool. So I want it right there. I'm gonna hit on the masks too, I'm gonna hit the M key. I'm gonna do a nice mask path keyframe, drag it over, I mean this is just really really basic guys, this rotoscoping, I've done so many tutorials with rotoscoping and you guys should be good alright, this is advanced, we don't play around anymore, Ch -ch check it okay, <laughs> playtime's over, Brandon's gone, we got this okay, no he's not gone, he'll probably make another tutorial for you guys, anyway, all right, where were we? So now we have everything masked out. So now let's delete this bottom layer. Let's turn back on the color rama and you will see what we just did. We just got rid of all that excess garbage on the outside. So now when we go back to our main comp, and we go to our flares and we zoom in and we turn back up the brightness. Let's turn to like 80 or something. Look at that. Now, we have these amazing, realistic looking flares up there. And um, we can always, you know, change them if we want, but that actually looks pretty cool to me. Actually, I kind of want more epic looking flares, so let's go back up here. Let's grab something different. <laughs> like, that's not epic, that does look pretty epic, but I want something just crazy awesome. 
Alright, so I've decided I want to go with the Polar Sun preset. I'm going to hit OK. And I dropped it down to 30 because 80 was just insane if you want to see. Goodness gracious, you nosy person. Look at that. Can't even see Newfin. So, I'm changing it to 30. Don't question me. And uh, if you're like, Eli, it didn't need flares. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah. It needed flares. Okay, that looks awesome. And now... Um, we are pretty much done. So that's how you loom a mask with flares. So let's review quick. Let's just do another thing with that free footage over here from uh, Dissolve.com. These Dissolve particles, I'm just going to grab them. I'm going to click and drag down here. Once again, create a new comp. I'm going to do this pretty fast because we already did this before. So Command D. Commander Control. Sorry. Goodness. I'm going to just name this uh, Dissolve Particles... Uh, Luma Matt. Cool. I'm gonna double click if you remember. Let's go over to color. Ammo. There we go. And that's really what we want. Color ammo. Okay. Output cycle. For this one, we really want to watch how much we put up because these particles aren't as bright. So let's uh, do it a little bit further down. White. Cool. Maybe further up. Right around there should be good. Alright, so <clears throat> now what we want to do is we want to go down to the Dissolve Particles once again, Project, drag the Luma Mat down here, turn off the Luma Mat, of course, go over here, type in flares, just set yourself up for success, Command or Control Y, of course, and then we're going to name it Flares. Okay. Optical flares, drag and drop it on here. Now we're going to hit F4 twice, bring up the blending modes, do add. I mean, this is just review. You guys are pros. I already know that, okay? Goodness gracious. Pro presets too. Let's just grab something not too crazy, like robot light, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of flares here. Luminance, and if you remember, we, w we did it on dissolve part 2, okay? Boom, let's bring it down to what, like 20 or something? Whoa. Maybe a little less, maybe like 15 will be good. Oh, so cool, guys. Let's hit zero and see what we did. All right, welcome back, guys. Here's what we created. Check it out. And if you guys had any questions as to why we would want to Luma Mat flares, this is a perfect example. Okay, look at this. Think how long it would take to put in individual flares on each one of these lit each one of these particles it would take forever okay i'm quoting the sandlot there forever i don't know if you guys ever seen that but seriously it would take forever and i also pre-rendered this one already so let's hit zero and see what we made together look at that oh my goodness it took literally no time it, oh my goodness, I, I love Luma Masking or Luma Mat. I, I don't know what you guys prefer to call it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, I'm going to render this now. Well, guys, I think that's a good place to end this tutorial on. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'm so glad I was able to finally make this tutorial for you guys. Seriously, so many people wanted me to make this tutorial since I did a Flare tutorial back in the day. Yeah, that was a long time ago, but... Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I will make another tutorial this Tuesday. Put what tutorial you guys would like to see on Tuesday in the comments because, you know, I'm not sure if you guys want me to do a Cinema 4D tutorial or a Photoshop tutorial. I'm not sure, so make sure you leave a comment and uh, also, you know, say hi or something. I'll reply to you because I love you. <laughs> Oh, that was weird. Okay, but anyways, guys, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Also, make sure you go check out Dissolve.com. They're seriously awesome. Go download these free things. I mean, a snail. Remember, the, <laughs> I used a snail in my last tutorial. That is awesome. Uh, the, I think these are just speakers. I don't, I'm not sure what those do. I might just download it, though, because it's free. And, whoa, they have, like, some contest going on. I mean, you have a shot at $500 credit on this website. That's crazy. But anyways, guys, on that note, I will end the tutorial. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Peace.